Praise the Lord. I welcome you again in the channel of the truth of the matter, Jesus Kie. I bless the name of the Almighty God, a King of all glory. I pray that the Lord God will continue to watch over you and your entire family in the name of Jesus Christ. May we bow down our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, the God of all glory. Lord, we lift up your name above all our imagination, above whatever we may think in. Lord, your name is greater than what we can call you. We say, dear Father in glory, Lord, we submit ourselves under your feet, Lord, under your herbal hand. Lord, we give ourselves. We pray that you will wash over us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Keep us going, Almighty Jehovah. In Jesus' victorious name, we pray. Amen and amen. I welcome you once again in the channel of the truth of the matter, Jesus cares. I want to announce to you that Jesus cares. Jesus cares in all situations and all circumstances. Jesus is only our goal. Praise the Lord. So therefore, I thank the Lord, Almighty God, who that make us to see this new day. Is the Lord doing? Is the wonderful works of God? So therefore, to Him alone be honor and adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to take us in a short message that we have at hand that say, "What devil cannot do?" And immediately I answer and immediately there are many things that the devil cannot do. There's many. Name them. The devil can never do good. Good is not an agenda of devil. Devil can never give you joy. Joy is not an agenda of devil. Devil can never give you a success. He is not in a devil can never give you a perfect life. He, all this thing is abominable where devil is. And there are many, many, many of them there. So therefore, there are many things that devil cannot do. But Almighty God, the God of heaven and earth, can do all things. So I take you in this message. But we must stand for the truth based on what the Bible says. Even though we see that devil have many things or limited for what he can do. That does mean that devil no have power. You know, sometimes we say devil no have power. Devil no have power when you envelope with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. When you function in the image of Christ, it's only there the devil is nothing. I say nothing where you are. So, but the truth is that the devil is powerful. The truth is that the devil is powerful. That is the truth. Take it as you want. Let any person narrate it or figure it out as they want. The truth is that the devil is a powerful being. And they are going to demonstrate it in the Bible. But however... I am not saying that to glorify devil in any way from all fashion, but that is truth. It's a simple truth. The devil is a powerful. Not power, powerful devil. Ask yourself questions. You know, sometimes teaching we receive in your church or wherever because they want to keep your heart free of the mer merriment or to keep you to be able to maintain you in their church or in their midst or in their gathering, then we turn some words upside down. And after those words, we look like it's what the Bible say. Because the man is good, having good speech, have an eloquent speech. But however, the truth of matter, the truth of a woman being, he is not the truth of God. He is not the mind what the gods say. Those things that say is to retain the congregation. 
is to keep the people happy where they're not supposed to be happy. For example, when they will tell you about giving, if they go direct as Bible just say it and cut it, many may not give, and then need to add their own and put a minus until it will reach the level of your acceptance of that saying. But the what the mean what is true that devil have power. Devil is a powerful being. You have power, but I say powerful and powerful being. And I'm not saying because I want to thrill you, but we are going to find it in the Bible. We are going to find it in the Holy Scripture if the time permit us. But I want your heart to be filled with awareness and the truth. That is what is good to follow in the truth of the matter Jesus cares. What we say to you is what Bible say. Because I am not in need of your offering or your tithe, so there's no mean, there's no any necessary, there's no any mean to make me to thinking what I will say to return you or to deceive you. It doesn't make sense where I am. It doesn't make meaning. So we go direct for what Bible say. And when you are buying on it, when you are buying on it, it will reap the blessing that follow it. Because there is a blessing that follow it. There is a blessing that God of heaven have put for that, for them that believe the word and keep the word. There is a blessing. So therefore, I want to call upon the name of the Almighty God. And I pray that God of heaven and earth we help you and make you to believe so that he will be well with you. So that he will be well with you. Praise the Lord. Now, what is that? As I say, the devil have the devil is powerful. I'm going to say, so devil is the whole demons, demonic. Armies of evil spirit. This is all this is under devil. So we can now start understanding whether what we are saying is it true or is it not true that devil have power. He cannot start knowing it. He cannot start imagining it. He have the whole spirit legends of the demonic and spiritual being under him. And who is this devil? You and I know that devil is a Lucifer, and devil is one of the notable angels in heavens, who are having or even having under him angels under him, that are having the battalions under him, that he gives the command and he tell what to do. Until the Bible says in Isaiah, until the prior find him out. Now ask yourself a question. Can even in some nation is there any person anyhow can get up want to be a president of nations? He must, whether you went to school or you no know, went to school, but he must have some certain, he must reach some certain level. He must have, you cannot come out and say, I want to be a president of social country. Now, take it now to devil, before he say that he will, he will be like most high, and he will say he will pass the most high. He's talking about God. Is because he have that person have know the God, that being have know who is God, and so he desire all those things that God is seated upon. So he wanted to bring overthrow government in the heavens. So is now how can someone will tell you that devil will not have no power because he called the name of Jesus? Listen, call the name of Jesus didn't save any person. You must call the name of Jesus in your heart. The name of Jesus must make meaning. I Listen to me. I say calling the name of Jesus is not a ticket to heaven or a ticket to overcome what are pursuing you or a ticket to cast even out to demon. You must reach some certain levels of knowing Christ. And this I can be able to demonstrate it in Isaiah if you would have to go to the scripture. I think Isaiah chapter 17 verse 54 verse 17 says something. If you reach the last verse there, the last verse says this is those their righteousness is in God. Remember the beginning of that verse it say, no weapon function against me shall prosper. But I want to assure you 
that don't have any meaning before God. And God wants to make it clear, and He say that this is those their righteousness is in me. We are enjoying it. So that you say, no weapon for child against me in the name of Jesus. It doesn't make any meaning. Devil can quote Bible, of course. When devil meets Jesus Christ, he is the first one to quote Bible, not even Jesus Christ. He is the first one because he knows where he came. He knows Bible in the teeth of the tongues. Devil, when he's sleeping, the Bible, he can turn it, turn it because he is also the origin of the Bible. So therefore, devil know all the written diary. And when he meet Jesus, he first put spiritual for Jesus. Jesus just responded. Jesus just gave him back. He know that he, when he tempted, he went on to tempt Jesus. Is he not Bible he quote? He say, as you thinking to be a son of God, does he know written? Turn this bread, this stone into bread. So that you eat. So you quote Bible. Because the Bible say men shall know it by bread alone. And Jesus needed to respond him that. And Jesus needed to say, this thing you are saying is your own saying. Is you just saying it. That shall no live by bread alone. That shall no live by bread alone. You can see. You can find what happened there. So therefore. You cannot challenge devil with the Bible because you know how to read Bible. That is why you can see also you people call great men of God and great women of God. They see fallen apart because to preach the word of God or to quote the Bible didn't give anyone certificate to be above devil. Or to... Of course, the Bible tells us God is safe that the time to burn devil are not rich. The time to cage him and not reach. So the devil is moving around. Who are you? You can say stop devil. It is only by precious blood of Jesus Christ that is set through deep in your soul. You can be able to challenge devil. That you speak you to the mouth. As you can see all these great men of God. As you people call them. Speak every now and then. They will kill in their self. This one will expose him. The other one. This one will expose The same mouth they will use tell you that they call him beyond the heaven. Then calling God of heaven. Is there confusion in heaven? There are no confusion in heaven. But these so-called great men of God put themselves into confusion. And see claiming, claiming to be the great men of God. It doesn't work that way. Jesus said that it's not all that called by my name that they will enter. I want to assure you, it doesn't matter how you dress in your church. It doesn't matter how you dance. It doesn't matter how you handle your puppet. It doesn't matter how that you have put the cream in your head and shouting. Some thinking that is shouting is prayer. If you meet them when they are shouting, then preaching, then teaching, teaching you about the marriage, they are shouting. Then teaching you about the financial, they are shouting. They teach you about giving their shouting. They want to even talk to devil, they are shouting. But Jesus didn't shout. Jesus said, get thee behind, O Satan. And that settled the matter. These men of God, because they're doing it, you know what they are doing? They're doing what they call the eye service. Just to, the any style, certain style they can use to hold the congregation is what they are interested in. Those words that you see coming out in their word, although they bring it to the Bible, but it's not from God. It's for them of in their heart. They cook and think what they will use to hold people bound, what they will use to maintain their congregation, which is they turn the church into business. That is why. So they are not some, some specialized by crying. Small time they're pouring out here because they have they have cage. All people that inside that church or whatever, that they, they, they are so sober. And but this is evil. They hold all of them under bondage. And these men and men can never accept that they are under bondage. So the truth we are going that the devil is a powerful being. And you are seen, and they are going to show you once again that devil is a powerful being from the Bible, and we leave it there. But I want you to ask yourself a question. I want you to go deeply and see whether what we are saying make meaning. 
And I pray that you make meaning to you because it is not my saying. It is a saying of the scripture. The Bible says in Ephesians to show you who you are wrestling. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6. I want to take you from even from verses 12. So we don't waste time. We just read verses 12, which every one of us know about. He say, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against what principalities and power, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. He's telling you about them. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. If the Bible tell you, now how can somebody will come to the city and tell you that devil have no power? And some of us accepting it. And some of us believe in it. That devil have no power. Who told you? Is it the word of God you will take? Or what men say you will take? I tell you, take what the Bible say. Now, I know end there. If you type permit. But remember, what he did to the one day, he took out all that devil. He took all at all, all everything that Job had, is person that then tell you, say no have power, can be able to communicate to God. You yourself, how long, how did you communicate, have you communicated with God? Have you communicated with God? Have God speak to you? Have God said to you, go? Have God said to you this? The devil go went communicate with God and return again and communicate with God and return again anytime. Because the devil know the Bible. He know the Bible in the tip of his finger. So he know what he will tell God and God will listen to. But you don't know. You may get into fasting before you know one verse. And after that, you may you are church, a woman will come and sit in front of she and didn't sit well. All the fasting turn, turn into useless. Your heart will now cut off on that. You are, all the level you level will be in vain. That is why someone will come and tell you devil no have power and you agree. Who tell you? Who say that? Devil had power and powerful. But there is a there is a solution. I want to give you a solution in the side Ephesians. They say Ephesians, and I want to take solution from verses eleven. Just because of time, I cut in those verses. Verses eleven say. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be what able to stand against the wild of devils. Put on the armor of God. What is armor of God? The word of God. Who shall I tell you before that saying Jesus, Jesus' name is not solutions. Solution is drink the blood deep in your heart. Soak yourself in Jesus. It's the only way devil can fear the name of Jesus Christ. Some of so-called, you people call great men of God, then work with the Satan. So they are an agent of Satan. Yeah. When they're calling the name of God, the name of Jesus, it doesn't make meaning where Satan is. But if you feel with the spirit of the living God, he call the name of Jesus, devil will tremble. The Bible, because the Bible say, devil do know and they do what? A tremble. Is the word of the living God. Know the truth, and truth will set you free. Sleeping in the church is not, is not the truth. Neither is there solutions. Watching the shoe of your pastor, and the honoring, and the word, and whatever, is not solutions. I didn't say that good church is not good. I didn't say that, uh, that even cooking for your pastor, even do whatever with your pastor is not good. All these things are wonderful. But the ultimate is... Soak yourself in God. Remember, Jesus Christ say, even this consigned to Jesus Christ in John, that Mary, the mother, went to cry and complain to Jesus that Mary do nothing. She's the only one that going here and going what the Lord Jesus Christ say. The Lord Jesus Christ say to her, Mother, Mother, indeed all this thing you're doing is wonderful. But Mary will take the best part of it. That part is the seat to hear the word of God. 
So you can see, not to rush to carry the Bible of your pastor, carry his code, carry his listen, his the solution. It's not that I give you the glory. It's not that I give you the solution. Solution is the word of God. Know the truth in the word of God. And you shall be free. And you shall be free. That is the very ultimate things you can get before the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, there is nothing afraid of you. Devil can never be afraid of you. Or, the, or your name, or your wealth, or your title, or your status. Devil, not afraid of you. Devil, not afraid of the whole world. When he give the whole world coronavirus, the devil look at look their face, and even the great men of God, the great prophet of God, the great whatever the God, they are all bow in the rule of this coronavirus. It's to show you the people tell you that that day, the day of rapture. You know that Bible say that if you didn't save that day, those that didn't save at in the sound of the trumpet, they come there to save. He didn't say they will not save again, but by their own blood. By their own blood. What means by their own blood? Can you will bear the torture? That is what means by their own blood. When the Satan, if you watch the or the other religion, when they were dealing with the Christian, they will say, deny Jesus or you die. And they put them sword, and when the sword come near, you will see man say, yes, I deny Jesus. And he didn't take them to no kill them. Finish deny Jesus. Then kill you. Why, why? Even when that moment, you deny Jesus. Then kill you. You go into hell fire. That is the simple truth. Now, what I want to bring out there, what I want to bring out there, that the, the jumping of your past or whatever, the jump or whatever, didn't took them to heaven. It's only for, only for this earth. Because he cannot deceive God. He cannot even deceive Satan. So therefore, you are then making noise in the name of Jesus Christ. But Satan knows that he is his children. He is those that he is sending. He is those that he sent to win, to bring the multitude to the kingdom of darkness. And then we come and tell you, Jesus, Jesus, but there is no Jesus there. So Jesus is not afraid, uh, Satan is not afraid of them. So now, the devil are not afraid of any man. And devil put the whole world where I want them to be. Until the intervention of God came. Until God said, so those men that teach you faith, their faith didn't save them for their for common coronavirus. They didn't impose the law that that they must put on their marks. They didn't impose the law. They make mud in their congregation. But if you finish make mud, when there is lockdown, go and take your flight. Go go there because you are a mister. Do a miracle to go there. So that show you the truth. There is a sample of the truth. It is what you will use to know the truth of the living word of God. Keep being deceived. Keep doing what? Being deceived. Now, I will, I will take you because I have tell you that devil fear no man. Devil fear no man. Because of that, I want to take you to James, James chapter 2. James chapter 2, verses what? Verses 19. James 2, 19. Let's see what the Bible say there. James 2, verses 19 say, Thou believest that there is one God, thou dost well. The devil also believe and tremble. They will tremble only before God. You and I believe that there is a one God. You do very well. They will also know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's to tell you, tell you when we tell that devil is powerful being, devil want to take position of God. And the Bible says that even when devil cast out on this earth, nothing touch his power. Nothing touch those blessings that God give him. With his angels, numerous angels that descend on this earth with him. That is why the Bible says, Woe to the earth, for the accusers of the brothers have come down on this earth. 
No power take from devil, neither is angels. That is why devil can operate as a woman being and also operate as a spirit being. Devil can enter church in any, if you like, in time form of good. And people will say that good run into church. If you like, he run into the top, top of a uh, prostitute. And people will say, this person just dressed like a prostitute. He may be even the wife of your pastor. That is the simple truth. Is to show you who his devil is all about. He can say why. What did the Bible say? When the Lord God said, who can go indeed to indeed to do war to, to deal with a one man of prophet there I have. The Bible say the angels of the Lord appear say that you will, angels of devil appear say will go. They say how what manner are you going to do? He say he's going to put a lying tongue, a lying spirit in all his prophets. Is he not what happened? But this is the prophet, so you can see. Now, just because of time, I will continue to show you the innumerable way verses that show us who is devil or what devil can do. But however, we must touch one. Let me take you for First Peter chapter five. First Peter chapter five, and I read verses eight there. First Peter chapter five. Verses 8, before we close. Chapter 5, verses 8, it says, Be sober and be vigilant, because your adversary devil has a roaring lion walked about seeking who he may do what devour. This is Bible telling you to be sober. Be careful, because the devil moving around and seeking who he will devour and seeking who he will destroy. And then somebody will hold Bible, somebody will jump for poopy and start talking and the devil had no power and this and the see many. But that person dining with the devil. If the devil no have power, you pray for marriage, marriage no come. If the devil no have power, you pray for so so this that those things no come because you are being deceived. But when you take the word of God, when he will stop taking the word of men and taking the word of God, is there he will enjoy the blessing that God will swear for his dear children. Praise the Lord. So therefore, I will pray to you today, you will never be deceived again in Jesus' name. The deceive is over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I for take you for John. Let me just take you there before we share grace. John chapter 80. I want to read John chapter 80 and we read verses 44 there. John 8 verses 44. And he said, Ye of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, will you do? You are your father, I stop it there. The devil. So Jesus recognized. Remember that Jesus also tell us that the prince of this world coming, but he have nothing in him. He telling you about devil. Is the same person one can tell you he no have power. Occultist people using his power to operate, but still tell you he no have power. Witches and wizards using his power to do evil, they still tell you he no have power. Then can be in Africa operating in America. Then tell you you don't have power. Brethren, devil have power and powerful. So to be above devil and his power, you must submit yourself into our Lord Jesus Christ. You must carry Jesus Christ deep in your soul, in your heart, not in your mouth. You must keep the rule of the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just as he stated in Isaiah, those that their righteousness is in me. That is the word of God. So I'm going to draw the curtain here. Let us have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that day Jesus Christ said that they may know that you are only son, that you have created, you have sent, mighty in Jehovah. I, that Father, pray that we may know the Holy Son, Jesus Christ, and lay our trust and our hope in Him. May we never be deceived again in the name of Jesus Christ. 
May we never be deceived again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we come out in under the cage of these men and women in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God and my Savior. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, dependable Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bring and bind our heart in understanding and wisdom. For it's the only way we can be able to sustain your, sustain your blessing and your gift in us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to your name, even now and forevermore. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayer. And amen. And amen. God bless you once again. Don't forget to give us thumb up and also share. Yeah, subscribe and share. Tell others about what you are hearing. God bless you until we meet again.